Hey again, Xander here, and one person, um, requested, why, well, asked me, actually, over the phone, hey, why haven't you done a room tour? You know who you are. <laughs> um, that's around. Um, I figured I'd do that, actually, uh, right now. It's around 1 p.m., I think. My MWR839 is supposed to be all over today, um, I'm going to shoot an unboxing, and there's act I'm actually going to be featuring a couple of people, um, most likely anyway, um, so, that'll be fun, plus, I mean, it'll definitely supplant the 991 as the rarest radio in my collection, I'm currently in the living room of the house right now, and let's talk, uh, there's a light on. Okay, now things are the video is gonna suck on this because I can't really see it, but I do have a radio on the sewing machine here. Okay. Bring the kitchen chair. Oh, sit down. I'm gonna talk about this. Um, this in the middle here is my beloved, and I've only had it for a few days, but I used to have one. Um, it's the Angie and CL100. This one's probably one of my favorite radios, and its tone control is a little screwed up as I figured out about hooking speakers. Yesterday, it's monitoring. Well, all the radios are monitoring WXGD4 talking about external antenna. Sounds fairly good. So, I need to turn the bass and treble down a little bit. But it's a calibrate on this transmitter, which is a very teeny output. Here is the latest weather synopsis for the Middle Ohio Valley and Central Appalachians. Another pleasant day is on tap for Friday. I don't know the exact dates at which I got basically any of my radios, but I can tell you the years. And um, this particular radio I got actually um, earlier this month, um, in July of 2021, it has AM FM as well. Yeah, I left it on V100 back, so. A little more like it. The AM reception on this thing, not the best in the house, but. This station comes in better. Five million workers nationwide. So, Richard, thank you so much for being back with us. So, give us a sense of what happened in that room yesterday. It's got an aux input as well, which is pretty nice. Um, this is by no means a permanent setup. In fact, I'm going to go on a little ramble here. I'm headed back to school in about a month, and um, I'm going to. I'm not going to be taking all my readers. Like the San Gene is definitely going to be staying home because I've got this thing programmed for Kanawha and Putnam counties. I'm gonna leave this one and possibly a couple of others home, not only for me to use on the weekends, but also to keep my aunt and my cousins safe. Um, but I am gonna take probably like over half my radios back up to school with me. But I've also got my speakers here. This, these are Klipsch Pro Media 2.1s. I do have the covers off. The subwoofer is on the little foot pump thing, basic sewing machine. Uh, it turns the wheel thing inside. Um, that's just there because I went out of the way. It also has the unintended side effect of making it act like a pseudo-resonance chamber for the sub. Um, so I gave more insane bass, although I, I'm not a bass head. I, w I wouldn't consider myself to be a bass head. Um, the tone control in here on the sand is screwed up because I was messing around with using this thing as an amp for self-activation. I managed to set off the WR400, which was cool. By the way, I... I don't have two of my radios in here. One is actually on the porch, and it's my 12240. And um, my number 120 is at my mother's house somewhere, as is my C crane. I'm probably just going to have to replace the C crane. Um, but, anyways, if we come in here to the blue room, turn on the light with this fucked up light switch. Seems like the spring is just so screwed up in it. Um, yeah, I'm going to replace that. They call it the blue room spring. The walls are painted a hideous shade of blue. Oh, can't tell. And the door has some damage. Don't mind the shite on my bed, it's just plastic X plus parts. Oops, fan there. 
the very space confined setup. So we're gonna go front to back. And the drawer here, my WR400 version one, not plugged right now because my cousin had to use the micro USB cord to charge and resync his PS4 controller. I got this radio on Christmas Eve of 2019. Currently the oldest radio well, I have had for the longest right now, along with my C crane that I can find. That's my medicine. And this is my room shit drawer. I need to clean it out. So, excuse me. Right there. And the wallet and in front of the iPad. You can't really see it here, but it's my Radio Shack 12 250, which I got in May or June of 2021. It's a modern devil. Things are modern devil she's for. The 400 has. MFM. I can't do an alert test on, but this one. The temperature was 79 degrees. The two point weather bands very tinny. For the alert test, it's very weird how you do it. You turn the radio off, hold the off button down, you turn it back on, and then you push the on button. That classic siren. Not quite as classic as some others, but. And so Ohio reports mostly sunny. It's up there. So right here, kind of angled there because fan is my Midland H54 VP2. Um, actually, oh, I got this radio in June. I purchased it from um, Antonio from Pittsburgh EAX. Um, this is actually one of his ones. I didn't get the cradle with it. Um, I bought the cradle separately. So it's kind of a VP2 conversion, but I'm calling it the VP2. More like VP fuck you. I turned the button beeps off because it was kind of loud. And the alert test kind of reminds me of either the WR400 or if the 100 slash 300 had a consistent speed. Shit. Oh. This is a version 16. The version 15 has a deeper button beep. I don't know if the siren's different. Over here is my WR300. I think it's a version 8. Put me on that. I really like the color scheme. Night, mostly clear. Lows in the lower 60s. Light and variable winds. It has AM FM. Shout out for Kitty and Pam at Stoked Embellishments over at the Charleston Town Center and also Granger in Charleston. Listening on the job with Class Against the Mix. Man. Blinded by the light, wrapped up like a deuce, another rumor in the night. Blinded by the light. So I'm just just like the WR100. Hang on, let me. So that's the high. Okay, there we go. And this is my Litworks EAR10 Black, which is a weird audio glitch. Um, it sounds like the speakers screwed up or something on the weather broadcast. Lows in the lower 60s. Light and fit. Apparently it's a common thing with EAR10s. Um, siren test sounds great, though. Good and loud. It will wake you up in the middle of the night for a tornado warning. Even if you have it set to display mode, which is a handy safety feature. Next to that, you have my Recom R1650C. Oh, sorry, uh, the alert books I got in June. The WR300 I got in November or December. It was either like December of 2020 or January of 2021. Recom. Got this in January or February of 2021. Like I said, 1650C, the most common revision of the 1650. I'm going to move the HH card a little bit. Um, this one has, well, dates to around, it's between 2007 and well, it's a late 2000s thing, the classic answering machine design. For Bluefield, 55. Martinsburg, Jax. 56. Parker's Other band Park. and MFM. Little song with the foggy break. Oh God, Mozart was checking out the well of chalk to see if it was safe outside. A little early birdie came by in his curly whirly and asked me if I needed a ride.
A lot of interference in this room because there's all the radios, power stuff, and network equipment. And right here, in that corner, is my Radio Shack 12 519, which actually got as a Christmas gift from my mother. Um, uh, Christmas of 2020. So it came out in 2009. It's probably one of my favorites. Probably like. Probably surpassed by the San Gian slash the Motorola, because I, well, we're basically the same thing, just looks like splooge. Um, sorry about that. But, so it's really great. It's got weather bands, AM, FM. All new superstar country 961 KWS. Good afternoon. I'm Ch You've been owned by West Virginia Radio Corp for over a year now. You're not all new. Bristol Broadcasting only sold to you not that long ago. I think they used to be run by Bristol. Um, because I think they run 1027 and 107 Nice Coin used to be at the same events and stuff, just it's in like, like two trucks or something. But those two devs uh, are part of the Bureau for Public Health. Cont firearms. Some of them old police surplus, some of them evidencing solved criminal investigations were sold at auction Thursday. State Treasurer Riley Moore holds that auction annually. Great opportunity for us to be able to fund our police here in West Virginia. It has an auction put as well in the back. And you can actually pull the antenna off and it's just standard BNC connector and the reaction comes on adapter, which I lost, but I grabbed another one. And it's right here, facing over to the side for some reason. I think it's confined for width is my stupid zone guard that hasn't gone off for anything because I don't seem to know how to get this thing to alert mode. This is the original zone guard, not the whole... Oh, Siren test on the 519. One cool thing about Siren on this is it actually has different settings for day and night. Um, kind of sounds like the 99X series of radios, though they have a slightly different sound Siren six. Just ever so slightly different, but it... Oh, that sounds like a police car ingested cocaine. Anyway, it's over. Good luck. Get the mail guy. Hang on. Hey. How you doing? Doing okay. How are you? I'm good. Grease? Yep. I'm tired. Let me let me grab your box. Got a couple boxes for you. Okay. What's your name? John? Yeah. Yeah. I used to work with your mom. Yeah. You know what? I used to work with your mom. Yeah, and I know she used to work down at the post office. No, so she worked at a, a place called uh, ARC, the Ark. Oh. You know where the Ark? No. You don't remember she worked there? No. It might have been before I was born or I was very little. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe. I'm going to kill you, man. You're right. How old are you? Uh, 16. Yeah, I guess it's been that long. Yeah. There's two of them. I can put one on the one. You got them? I, I, I got them. Okay. See you later, John. Thank you. Hey, uh, quick question, sir. Yes, sir. Anything. Um, so the one on the top here, where does it say it came from? The one on the top? Yeah, because I think it's label show. Talbert, number 41. Talbert, T-A-L. Um, what's the state? Uh, Portland. Oh, uh, Portland, Maine? Yeah. Okay, thank you. What about the other one? You want to know that, too? Yeah, I guess I'm wondering if the second one is... I think the second one's probably for Aunt Vic. That's from Amazon, yeah. Yeah. It is for Vic. 